We've had our new 2Rs motorhome for a couple of days now, and today's the day that I'm going to be fitting some better mobile internet. At the moment, we're using this Netgear Air Card with these little cheap eBay antennas. Today, this pointing POC2 antenna is going to be installed on the roof of the motorhome. Going to have to drill a hole in the roof, but really, hmm, not that keen about doing that, but needs must, and drill I shall. In the kitchen area, there's a nice big tall fridge with a TV bracket to one side, and next to that is a convenient cupboard that I'm going to use to drill a hole through. There's even a 12 volt socket right there in the top. This little cable over here is a aerial cable, a TV cable, that doesn't actually go through the roof as there's no aerial fitted. But it is terminated in that socket up there. The first thing I'm going to do is to climb up on the roof and wash the affected area. This motorhome has just been collected and had a full wash before we picked it up. I've washed off any potential road grime that might have crept onto the roof. I can't get the shelf out. I think it's glued on this side. I'm not seeing a way of unscrewing it here on the right hand side. I don't want to force it or break it. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to come down from outside, in, inside the cupboard. It's not ideal. But you know, there are a couple of good markers to let us know where things are. I'm going to remove this spigot and replace it with a long one. So that's just four screws that come out. The inside edge of this cupboard is about two centimeters adrift of the inside edge of this of this hinge over here. So I want to be in at least about five centimeters from there. I'm going to take the thickness of the wall and add on a bit of a fudge factor at about 15 centimeters from the um, edge of the roof and drill a pilot hole. Woo. And that is very much a success. I've never used Sikaflex before, but there's always a first time for everything. Just going to go down inside quickly and see how this looks, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Oh, there it is. Admittedly, it does look a bit ugly. You've got this collar that tightens over the top. Uh, that will hide all of that very nicely. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm still over the moon with the placement. I couldn't have guessed it better. We have this little 3M adhesive disc. Tear it off like that. Get it through, that's on nice and tight. I really don't believe that's going anywhere. And I'm gonna stick a flex around, there it comes, around this hole here. Not ever so neat and tidy. to do the job wonderfully. So the flat side goes to the roof. Here are the dual SMA adapters. Kaz would approve of the purple heat shrink. I think this camera angle makes my arm look really long, but I do wish it was slightly longer. This is kind of a very awkward angle. I have tightened that little thing up as much as possible. So let's hope the compression has squeezed the Sikaflex out and formed a nice waterproof sticky seal. So I'm just going to use the patent Sigaflex tool here, um, my finger, and smear it around. Oh, I didn't want it up there so much. Oh well. 
all the way around there. There's the router. Here's the SMA cable coming. Here are the SMA cables coming from the antenna. These are the SMA adapters to the router. Doesn't matter which side goes in where. For one moment I thought I had the wrong gender. These cables are not gender fluid really. They're quite specific. I have used this one or something similar before to power the very same router. It doesn't draw a lot of current, so in we go with that. Ooh, that shelf is looking a bit saucy. There's the installation. It does need a little bit of neatening up, but I'll probably get to that once I replace the router. It's all connected up, um, permanently switched on. The closest 5G coverage to us is at the Gordano services along the M5. So, no expense is spared. Here we are at the Gordano services. So, as I expected, we are connected to the 5G network over here. We've only got two bars out of five, but still, on a speed test, we're getting some extremely good numbers. I got all the way up to an average of 144 download and that for us is you know much much better than we even get at home so i'm really really happy with those numbers it's a bit difficult to see but i've mounted up the little router up there what router did we end up with well i did a little bit of research um, i found one that's very very similar to our old netgear card router and it's the zte router now most of the major service providers are offering these things on contract. We've had a 5G contract for quite a while, so I went to the local Vodafone shop and asked them what can they do. They you know, typed in a couple of details onto the computer and said, well, you're currently paying about £32 a month for this unlimited, um, both in terms of speed and data download connection, but it's due for renewal. And so they offered me £10 a month off on that one. So I'm now paying £22 a month for unlimited 5G data. Again, both speed and amount of data. And while I was there, they said, oh, <clears throat> they told me, we can see you've been a customer with us for quite a while. How do you feel like us knocking £10 a month off your phone bill? So of course I said yes. So if this little router proves to be a total fail, at least we are £20 a month better off. Yeah, we still have an unlimited data contract. Right, what does 5G mean for us? It means the ability to stream content. We don't have an external radio antenna on this van at all, so we do depend upon streaming for absolutely everything, and that includes the, the television. It means I can shop online whilst out and about. Look at that, no buffering whatsoever. So I thought I'd try something in 4K. It came up instantly, no buffering whatsoever. There we are. Guess how are you finding the internet on that thing of yours? It's super, super quick. It's, I mean, I've only had this a couple of months and I'm already having a better experience from my old laptop to this, but from my old laptop to this speed wise, but this is just bang, you know, bang, 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 bang. No waiting, no buffering, no nothing. It's amazing. So I think that sums it up quite nicely. Absolutely worth the effort of putting the antenna on the roof. Absolutely worth going to your service provider and speak to them to see if they can give you a better deal, which I did in this case. We're 20 pounds a month better off and we have fantastic internet. That does it then. We now have an external antenna, we have a router, and we should get fairly decent internet in most places that we go to. This has been the first one in a series of motorhome upgrade videos. If I can do some of these things, then most people should be able to do them as well. I hope you have found this video to be useful. Thank you very much. Bye. And look at that, would you? The hole is through. <laughs>